Hello everyone, Chocolate Roberts here for another video review. This week of the huge Milka Luffley Caramel. Um, yeah, so wow, so I think um, basically this is a, an equivalent of the Cadbury's Bubbly. Um, but I don't think I've ever saw a Cadbury's Bubbly, bubbly with caramel, so um, yeah, this is um, something a bit different. Um, one of my um, subscribers on YouTube, Mr. Naughty Cat, <laughs> uh, mentioned a few uh, Milka alternate. Um, Equivalents of the of um, the Cadbury's donut brand, um, I think this is one of them, and also um, on Twitter, one of us um, had a conversation with um, a friend, Agent Sesco, on there as well about um, basically uh, Air Eighty chocolate bars, and I was talking about the Cadbury's Whisper, and she mentioned uh, the Luffly, and I should try them. So here we go. Now I've already tried the um, the, the regular Luffly, um, and it was very much a bit like a donut bubbly rather than the Cadbury's Whisper. Um, that's despite the illustrations on the picture, which do show quite small um, bubbles, similar to a whisper, they're not really like that at all. In fact, they're kind of like a halfway house between a whisper and an arrow. Um, so somewhere in between. Um, yeah, so we'll see if the caramel's um, up to scratch. I uh, yeah, have a look at the uh, the other uh, the regular lovely video. Um, see what you think. But yes. Anyway, the gimmick of this, uh, I think lovely probably means bubbly as well, I'm assuming. Um, so it says, um, obviously, the nice purple milk uh, wrapping, wrapping, which is good. Um, it says without alpine milk, I think, there. Um, what I'm assuming is alpine milk, anyway. Alpine milk, 100% alpine milk chocolates, I think that's, uh, this, that translates as. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm sure it's not far off that, if it doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, it's very much a bit reminiscent of... Um, the UK Cadbury's bars now. You know, it's got this flow wrapper malarkey, and I think just of it is um, this company here, uh, Mondelez. I think they're a subsidiary of Kraft. Um, so obviously, um, or maybe the other way around. I don't know. Um, and obviously, Kraft own Cadbury's now, so that's why there's such similarities, really. Um, so calorie-wise, uh, so well, it's 250 gram bar, so a tenth. So one tenth, probably, I don't know how much a tenth would be here. It's quite difficult to work out, isn't it? But uh, one tenth is 126 calories, um, 6.6 6 grams of fat, 3.8 of which are saturates. So one tenth. So you know, it's got a bit of flourish. It's 27 and a half centimetres, roughly, well, yeah, roughly 27 and a half centimetres. Um, yeah, so obviously it won't be quite like that, it'll probably be more 25 centimetres, so when I open it. Um, so if you can assume, obviously I'll do this properly in a bit perhaps, uh, but 2.5 centimetres of which is, is a tenth roughly. Um, that's not very scientific, but that's a very small bit on the end really, so. <laughs> yeah. But I would suggest that really a typical chocolate bar would be double that really. Um, well, not quite double that, but... Now that would make it 252 calories, and I think that's probably a high calorie regular bar, so you could probably eat a fifth of this, which is probably about that much, and, um, and consider that you're eating the equivalent of a chocolate bar, calorie-wise and things. Okay, right, so uh, I'm sure it's just going to be smaller portions, but it's good open. I think it's... I had to order this. Still can't get these in the UK, so I had to mail order it. I think it has broken a bit in the post. I do apologise, yes it has. It's a massive bar, so that's surprising I guess. Mm -hmm. mm. Quite a pleasant smell coming from it, I have to say. Um, what I'll do is I'll just take one bit of it and I'll put the rest aside. Okay, so. That might have been a bit of a mistake, I think I acted too soon. I'll just bring it back and I'll give it the old measure for what it's worth. Can't quite see that. Um, yeah, so it's just about 26 centimetres, with these peaks and troughs, you see the bubbly design at the side. Um, so yeah, so roughly 2.6 centimetres of it is your 126 calories. So that's not much, basically. So it's basically one line of bubbles, I would have said. Um, so I would take two lines of bubbles. You'll see what I mean in a minute when I take this out, but yeah. Okay. 
There we go. Where were we? <laughs> All right. So yes, yeah, so you can see it's the bubbly design. So what I was saying about one line of bubbles, I think that line of bubbles there, just those four bubbles, is roughly your 226 calories. So I think two lines of bubbles would be your, uh, your probably what you would normally eat, and that would be equivalent to our chocolate bar. So it's not, you know, it's quite small, I guess, but it feels a bit weighty. So you know, that would weigh about um, uh, 50 grams. Which is, which is heavier than a lot of chocolate bars. So you, you get, you're packing quite a bit there. Right, so, um, okay, so, well, the bubbles seem a bit more finer in this one. Um, I do actually have, this is the regular Luffley that I had the other day. You can see the bubbles are quite big there. That's a regular Luffley. I'll just show you again. So quite big bubbles. This one, they're a lot finer, mostly. Some bigger ones. Hmm, which does make it more whisper-like. Which is good. Because <laughs> I think the uh, the regular one was I was a bit disappointed by, so hopefully this one will be better. I can't really see... There's a slight hint of caramel in this top one there. I'm assuming it's all hidden away in the, in the tops of these bubbles, perhaps, so I might break, to break one off. Still can't see it, so I'm gonna. Apologise, but I'm gonna bring out the knife. So look. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll have to wash this knife for that. Got a bit of. Right there we are. So yes, it is hidden away. So there's quite a lot of caramel there actually. And it's hidden away right in the dome, as you probably could have guessed, but you know, um, of the chocolate. So yeah, not bad. It's quite runny, as you can see. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested with this. Um, it looks so the the aeration um, looks very nice. You can see it's yeah. I mean, as you might have gathered now, I probably didn't explain. This is an aerated chocolate bar, so it's got so the chocolate's infused with air bubbles, which gives that lovely velvety texture. Um, that's the name, you know, the bubbles and the bubble design, as you can see. <laughs> it's flat on the other side. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see what it's like, I guess. There's a, there's a Cadbury's Whisper Gold, which I'm assuming this is its closest UK rival, which is one of my favourite bars, so let's give it a go. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. I think in this one, the chocolate's definitely more akin to a Cadbury's Whisper. Um, I'm just going to try a whole one just because let's make sure I get the full effect. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's a one off or not, I don't know. But the chocolate here is definitely nicer than the regular, the regular Luffley bar. I can't, I can't understand that really, so I don't know whether this recipe's changed or what, I was unlucky. But you can see it's definitely more like a whisper here, it's a lot finer, there's no bubbles. They're a lot smaller. And here's the regular Luffley, you can see the difference there. Huge bubbles there, and it just doesn't really work for me, the, the Luffley like that. But this one's a lot more velvety. But what lets it down, I think the chocolate's nice, I don't think it's quite Cadbury's nice, but it's nice. Um, as I get, say again, it, it tastes better than the regular Luffley, I think it's just a, a lovely bar. <laughs> Maybe Luffley does mean lovely after all, but um, but the caramel here lets it down a lot, it's there. Uh, mm, it's a very bitter caramel. Not my kind of caramel at all. Um, more treacly in taste, if you know, if that makes any sense. It's very, which you know, if you like treacle, it's fine. Yeah, but for me, yeah, for me, it's not. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's I can't quite describe. It. It's more of a, as I say, more of a bittery caramel rather than a sweet caramel. And for me, that's not. I mean, it's good though. It means it is different, and it does mean it's. Um, you know, it's got, um, oh, there you go, look at that lovely camera there. 
Um, you know, and it's obviously different in that respect. But um, I don't know. For me, I'm not as big a fan of that. I do much, as I say, I do much prefer the chocolate here. As I say, it really is more what I'd expect. And um, that's like a, it's, it's pretty much like a, a whisper there. That's really good. Whereas the regular Luffy wasn't. So I don't know whether that's just a mistake and the regular Luffy would normally be like this. Or whether this is a mistake and it would normally have a bit bigger you know, aeration, you know, air pockets in the in the chocolates. Um, but, you know, I've got, I've got to assume it's like this and it's really lovely, actually. But uh, I'll say the caramel. Mm. It's just not as nice as the caramel in... Um, um, and Cadbury's Whisper Gold, which is a shame, as I say, it's just a bit too bitter. Um, but it's still nice. But yeah, the caramel for me, unfortunately, isn't quite there for me. But um, I do like it. Um, I think a three out of five for me this bar. Um, chocolate's still not quite as nice as the Cadbury's Whisper chocolate. You don't get that lovely smell. You get quite. You get. A smell of chocolate, but it's not the same as a smell, you know, and it's very subtle. You have to really put your nose up to the chocolate, and then, um, as the Cadbury's Whisper, you know, it's, it engulfs your, 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 your nose when you open it, man. It's beautiful. And the chocolate's, I think the Cadbury's chocolate, I, I personally prefer it, but of course that's my taste, so you might have been brought up on this kind of chocolate. Not quite sure where it derives from, um... I think the Mocha Bar has you know, a Swiss, Italian, German address on the back, so I'm not really, not really sure. Um, and that's not even Swiss, actually. Oh, no, it does. It, no, it has quite a few. It has Sweden, Finland, in this case, um, Austria, Germany, and I think Switzerland. Mm, so it's in there. Uh, some different addresses, but so I'm not really sure where the chocolate derives from. It just says Alpine milk anyway, so presumably um, that's that's as best as we're going to get as to where it derives from. But yes, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. My my personal taste, I do prefer Cadbury's chocolate. Cadbury's um, definitely, but it's still really nice. This I do like it, um, but the caramel is what lets it down for me. I think if it had nicer caramel, in mean, my taste, I think it'd be a four. But as it is, I think it's a three. Um, because I'm just not that keen on that that caramel taste, unfortunately. But, but I mean, I definitely, if you like whispers, um, I definitely would try this out. Um, and as I say, the caramel could be to your taste. It's it's a different kind of caramel, so it's just a different bar. It just doesn't quite tick the boxes for me. But I think for some people it would. I don't think it's. I think it's a subjective thing. This. Um, I I think it's just in my my opinion. It just you know it's not the it's. It's not a bad bar as such, it just doesn't tick the boxes for me, but I think it could do for other people and this could well be your favourite chocolate bar. So I would definitely check it out if you like aerated chocolate, lovely virility smooth. But if you do like this and it is your favourite bar, I definitely recommend trying out the Cadbury's Whisper and Whisper Gold. Somehow get your hands on those, because uh, for me those bars blow me away. Um, and if, you, if you're inclined to like this, I think it's definitely worth your while trying those. Okay guys, um, take care, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as always, let me know what you think and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and uh, leave some comments. Leave some likes and um, preferably or dislikes if you feel the need. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I'd love to hear from you, so let me know any comments if you can. Alright guys, take care, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, keep on chocolating and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now, take care. Bye.